Did you know that after having a baby, your partner's DNA, the father, your baby daddy, stays in your body for years? Not only does it stay in your body for years, but it increases with the amount of children that you have. So if you ever find yourself acting out of character, you're like, what happened? What's wrong? It's not true, girl. You acting like your baby daddy. Okay, so is this true? For those of you all who don't want to watch the whole video, yes, it's true. But keep watching for the answer. So during a pregnancy, fetal DNA can enter the vascular system of the pregnant individual. That's how we do the NIPT or NIPS, otherwise known as cell-free DNA testing. Now, studies have shown that male DNA can be present in the tissues and organs, even the brain, of someone who's been pregnant before. And the most common source of that male DNA would be from having previously carried a male fetus during a pregnancy. Now, since that male fetus has half of its DNA from the pregnant individual and half from the partner, that means, yes, the DNA from your partner could be present in your body years, decades down the road. And this is an example of something called microchimerism. And that's when one individual has two different sets of DNA present in their body. For example, if a person gets a bone marrow transplant, they can have the DNA from the bone marrow donor. Male DNA can also be pre present in uh, an indiv individual's body if they've had a pregnancy loss or an unrecognized pregnancy, or if they have a male twin sibling. Individuals can pick up the male DNA when they're in the uterus with their male twin sibling. That's pretty cool. Now, what is not true is this, and this is a post that circulated on social media. Women store DNA from every man they've ever made lovey love with study finds. That is not true. So please, if you see a post saying that, you need to call them out.